Oh! Fans are literally all over the map when it comes to their thoughts on double feature. Uh, industry had double feature. Uh, we're going to open up uh, another box of these. Uh, I already opened two on the channel. No crazy massive hits. The one card was like 30 40 bucks. And also we're going to crack open Commander Collection Black. These do seem to have some pretty nice uh, value after the fact. You know, like the resale market and all that. Uh, but let's do this. Um, yeah, you guys are all over the place. Fans of Magic the Gathering, collectors, uh, players mostly. Mostly players is where I'm hearing... They're, they're not taking kindly to this. They're not a big fan. They think it's whatever. Big shout out to the Ground Zero for letting me crack this. Thank you so much. The product is selling for $178 right now, currently. That is the market value price. And uh, there's 24 packs inside. Keep in mind, there is something nutty here. There is something nutty here, buddy. That's right, nut buddy. Uh, where's it at? May contain these double cards. One, one, one. Uh, where's it at? Silver Screen Foil Planeswalker. In 1% uh, of boosters. Details. You can find it. more information about that by going to their website. But I'm hearing people saying they're not liking the all black. Like, whoopity do. Oh, wow. They got rid of the color. Nobody cares. And I'm kind of like, you know, I, I kind of feel what you're saying there. I do, but then again, I take a look at these, and I'm just like, man, these are gorgeous. So we're going to zip through these. I do apologize. There's no pricing today. There is no pricing today. I just had to get this video out to you guys. Uh, I've had jacks for like the past five, six days. A lot of things going on uh, in the personal life right now, and I'm just trying to take care of business. Jaron, corrupted bishop, what up? So I'm just doing what I can, but we will have pricing very soon, especially Double Masters VIP. Whoa! Oh, I thought that was a foil. Wizards, you rascal. I did not expect to get a double mythic pack. Oh, crap. Toxrill, the corrosive. Wow. Um, I do have the prices pulled up for these, which I will let you guys know what's up. That Toxrill alone is about 20 bucks. Right, currently, right now, about 20 freaking dollars just for that guy. Very nice. Jaren's, uh, he's about 5'6". Nothing too crazy there uh, with Jaren. But wow. Um, the silver foils are really where it's at, guys. You won't believe this. You're going to say it's not butter. No one's going to say that, actually. None of you guys are going to say you can, it's not butter. But you're not going to believe this. Listen to this. This is bonkers. So, if you want to get your hands on a foil Meat Hook Massacre or a Renin 7 foil, the silver foil stuff, Meat Hook Massacre is about 80 bucks right now. Prices can change. Renin 7 is over 400. Hot! Remember, the odds are crazy, crazy against you. To pull something like that. If we pull one on this channel, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip the heck out, man. That would be a sick pull. Um I like the cards. I think they're pretty neat. Um, I think it's a different kind of look, but a lot of you are just not having it. You're like, this stuff sucks. Uh maybe not a lot of you. I don't know. I'll, quite a few of you. Let's do it again. What are your guys' thoughts on this? I get it's a re it's basically an like instant reprint set. It's like an instant freaking reprint set. And uh yeah, the value alone for just reprinting the cards right after they were just dropped, you would think would be jack crap, but dude, the more I look at them, the more I'm like, yeah, this is pretty hot to trot. But the for the silver foil prices, man. I wonder how many there there are in existence cuz they they got to be really freaking scarce. Uh, we're talking like under, I'd say under 5,000 of each probably exist. I'm just saying, I'm throwing a number out there, a natural growth, <sighs> necro duality. There's a card that's worth some freaking dough with Lantern of the Lost. This is a really good box. Um, I'll just tell you the price on that bad boy, right freaking meow. That's a good one. Uh, where, where you at, bud? Where you at? Oh, we got to go back further. Necro duality. I actually had this one pulled up. 25 bucks. The foil, almost 100. And remember, these prices can change. 
this is this is insane. So yeah, I'm doing the whole pricing in the background. We got what is that? The four mythics, three mythics, three mythics already, and we got some big ones. Are we gonna pull the heat? Are we gonna get Ren? A freaking foil Ren? That's not a foil Ren. That's cool though. These silver, these silver cards are really cool. All right. Are we going to pull the foil freaking Ren? Oh my God, dude. That would be nuts. In this pack? Probably not. Slaughter Specialist, not the Slaughter Pack. Still cool to see. And Falcon Wrath for a bear. There you have it. But yeah, this is a definite, it's like a limited print run. Uh, one of you said that you think this is going to be one of those sets that's going to be printed a, a quite a bit less than, than others. And uh, you are onto something. You're darn right, and you said you probably want to pick up one of these boxes just because, just to hang on to, because you think the price is going to get jacked up down the road, and you're probably freaking right. Just a Death Cap Glade is worth some freaking nasty money. Let me just get that price on that one. All right, nothing crazy. Eight bucks right now. Foils, 22. Still, hot diggity dogs, man. The next video I do, I will include pricing for these. I just needed some time, guys. I do apologize. A lot of stuff going on right now. But all is well. That's all I can say. All, 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 all is well. Siphon Insight and Dorothea Vengeful Victim. Man, that seems really high, like that, that framework. Change of Fortune. Yeah, this box has been a change of fortune. Silver Border Foils. There you go. So Change of Fortune looking pretty sharp. I'm excited also to clack that. Uh, clack that. Can we make that a word? Clack? Clickety clack. We can make that a word, probably. All right. Clack. I'm excited to crack the uh, the black commander collection. That's pretty neat. Smoldering egg and by invitation only. Mm. The Viper's Fang. All right. That, we have two foil rares already with the silver treatment. Uh, let's get an idea on those. Okay. So there's no price on Change of Fortune yet. And that's another reason I didn't make the video. There's no price on Change of Fortune. The Viper's Fang, however, this is, uh, you're looking at about $7.50 right now. Again, prices will change, but yeah, that's not freaking bad. $7.50 for just one of those uh, rare silver rares, that's pretty freaking juicy, guys. Um, yeah, we're going to keep it going. What if we hit a freaking Ren foil? Man, we are shoving it up a goat's rear. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, that's another thing. Is anyone going to get this product? Does anyone even care? Anybody? Do you guys care about this? Graph Reaver and Plummet. Will the price plummet? I don't know. I think it's... I like that it's different, but I really wish... They would have thrown an Easter egg our way and been like, all right, we're serial numbering some cards here. Maybe they maybe they serial numbered the foil Planeswalkers. I don't know. I doubt it, though. Cigar to Splendor, but we have an entire case that we're cracking. How pack Pipey. There you go, Mr. Howell, Pack, Piper, and Thirst for Discovery is our foil. I'm not going to even talk too much about the uncommon and common foils here. But there's a chance that they did serial number in these huge freaking hits. If they're that, that hard to pull, there's a possibility, guys. All right, we got Astral Glide and Curse of Hospitality, followed by Shipwreck Sifters. Can't even tell what the heck is going on there. All right. Come on, ready, boy. We, we still have another case. Oh, my God. I didn't realize how many freaking packs I got. Okay, we have six more boxes after this. And then we also have... Uh, no, that's it. We have six more boxes after this. So, <laughs> an entire freaking sealed case. Voice of the Blast. That one's... Oh, that looks really good because it's a spirit. Even better. And there's Rejuvenator. Silver Foil. Very interesting. Let's check. I just want to see the price on Voice of the Blast. $225, Bishop. $225. Who the heck is Bishop? $25, Bishop. $1.25, Willie. Isn't that the same price your mother charges for a job, you piece of dogs? Okay, here we go. Moving along, moving along. Who can tell me what the heck I just quoted? Sawblade Slinger. Throbbing. Slobbing, nobbing, I'm like, All right, and we got Willow Geist. Oh. Ah, the climax just didn't live up to all the glory. Lantern Flare. Wow, another foil rare. Get a load of that. That looks cool. It shines like right there. Boom. All right. Did not live up to the freaking height there. Uh, but we hit both three foil rare 
shiners. And that's pretty good. But we're still looking for big wig. Falcon Rath Pit Fighter. Oh, Pit Fighter for any at was it any at no Sega had Pit Fighter, didn't it? Dream Shacklegeist, Bada Skadink, and Gavini Dawnguard. Oh, I can see uh blouse, my lady. Pull it down. No. Alright, moving forward. Here we go. This guy's a pervert, man. I can't watch this guy. This guy's disgusting. He's talking about ladies like that. Unbelievable. Felstinger. Oh, Sunstreak Phoenix. Mythic. It's been a while since we hit a Mythic, so that was kind of cool. Good old Sun Streak Phoenix. Beautiful card. And Investigator's Journal. Hot house. Wandering Mind. You ever just want to turn your brain off? For real. You right now listening, who's not even watching the video, just casually listening in the background. Have you ever just wanted to turn off your brain? Maybe it's just bothering you too much. Too many visions of light brights with naughty things doodled on them. You ever want to do that? Just me? Okay. Okay, Soidor. Old stick fingers. You know how we got that, man? Using his right hand too much. That's how. Demonic bargain. And the old blessed geist in the foil. Oof. This box has been good to us so far. But I think we're short a few mythics. So I'm expecting something dirty, dirty. Here we go. Here we go. Dirty, dirty. Ooh, deserted beach. It's a solid one. Six to, what, ten bucks, roughly? Pretty cool. And winged portent. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. What's it going to be? Something big. Whoa! A millipede. All right. We did pull three foil rares. So I kind of doubt we're going to have the foil mythic here. But when we, when we did pull one foil mythic, and that card's about $35. Uh, it was the one dragon. Triscatica file. Not bad. Not bad at all. Mr. Odrick. I cannot stand pulling him just because the value's not there. And the old hoper. Okay. We got a lot of hope going on. Again, distribution, um, whoa, hey, what, four, four rare foils. How, oh, man, that silver looks really good there. Four rare foils now. That is dope, man. Watch out for that little ding there. Four rare foils, B-E-A, beautiful. Okay, we will take that. Oh, sorry, took it off camera so I can grab that run out of there. All right, moving along, here we go. Big one, big one. We got the old hermit. This guy is like, I'm so pissed off. I returned that library book and they still charged me 14 cents, little bastards. And then we got the old dominating vampy. Okay. Down to five packs. And then we're going to see what's inside Commander Collection Black. Let's see what's cooking in that. Come on, baby! There we go. Oh. Spoiler alert when we turn it that way. Um, my own personal thoughts on this, I still think it's a really freaking cool set. And, uh, yeah, people that don't pick it up for collectability-wise, they're probably going to regret it. To Honda Road, motherfucker! There you go. Meat Hook Massacre. Get a load of that $40 bill, man. Ugh. That is gorgeous. I knew we were going to hit something else big. Oh, yeah. That's a dirty one. Okay. We got one of the biggest pools in the whole set. Ascendant Pack Leader. And kindly ancestor. What is even going on? What, someone just like splooged on that one. All right, moving along. What does that mean? You'll learn one day, Billy. You'll learn one day. Right, here we go. Behemoth. Oh, it looks like the cutting like didn't take place exactly. Like there's a little bit of off cut stuff going on. Twin by Ghost. Google Colors Harvest. Right behind that door. Hamlet Vanny. And Skulking Killer. There you go. Skulking Killer. Three packs to go. Can we pull another foil mythic? We did it one time. We did it once. We got the big old dragster. Come on. Oh. Land, tap, sacrifice, evolving one. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle. What? That seems kind of busted, though. Doesn't it? That does seem kind of busted. Spent too much time scanning the shadows for evil. And you'll never see the beauty our world has to offer. I love that. That is beautiful. But not as beautiful as what this card can do. Dude, seriously? Okay. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen that. We're going to put that up here. That must be really rare. We opened a lot of packs. and That's the first time we ever opened one of those. 
Shipwreck Marsh. Oh, that looks so good. Come on, that looks good. The purple and the blue. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're in a state showing on up. Okay. Not bad. And the Overwhelmed Archivist. Two packs to go. Pull the Evolving Wilds, of all things. That's freaking wild in itself. Okay. Just throw packs around. Here we go. Field of Ruin. I forgot that was in here. Solid. All right. And Hell Respite. <sighs> Omnivore. That looks like a card from MetaZoo. Mm -hmm. Pointed Discussion. That, man, when people point at me, bro, I'm going to slap you off that stool. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> That's like a, a pet peeve. I can't stand when people point when they talk to me. It's like, just point that finger somewhere else, you know, before I take it and shove it up your... Boarded Widow, Briar Bridge Tracker, Edgar Charmed Groom just shut it down. Fear of death. All right, we did have some nice hits, but you guys know me. We got six more boxes to go. We want to see that big Ren, or we want to see we want to see a big foil planeswalker. Because when we do hit that, we are talking possibly hundreds of dollars. So let's get up into this. We're gonna see what's in Commander Collection Black. Gorgeous guys, gorgeous guys and gals. Here we go. Ding, 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 ding. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, ah, nice slippy slidey. There we go. I do have the green one, which is pretty neat. Ooh, whoa, that's a little different. Okay, nice. Ooh, hello there. We're just gonna be really cutesy with you. There you go. Liliana, heretical healer. Looking fantastic. I really don't read over the cards. Oh, that symbol is cool, too. I don't read over the cards as much as I used to because it's like I feel you guys already know what the heck this is. Is this the flip one? It sure is. Wow, Defiant Necromancer on the back. B-E-A, beautiful, man. No reason to price these out right now. They're so freaking new. It's like, whatever. Ghoul Caller Gissa. Very, very cool. Mr. Opium. It's weird. Okay. Maybe I just can't pronounce anything today. Uh, if you control no snakes, create a 1-1 one, one black snake reach token with death touch. That's cool. Like to protect like a planeswalker or something. You know, just keep like doing that. Oh, hot damn. Fire Action Arena. Baby, that is gorgeous. I never understood why this card was so cheap. It was like three, four dollars for the longest time. And then I think people are like, hey, that's a card we can throw in our deck and win. And I'm like, yeah, it sure is. Reanimate. Hot dogs, man. Very, very cool. Reanimate's looking good. Toxic Deluge. Not bad. Almost like we're opening like some Masters product right now. Almost. Soul Ring. Hot dogs. And it's rare quality. Tap. Add two colorless. Bada bang. Nasty. Command Tower. They are printing that crap out of this card. Huh? Every time I turn around, there it is. Command Tower and a Snake Death Touch token, which is probably valued at like three bucks itself. And on the back, you got Mr. Zombie Boy himself. All right, that's everything. If you made it this far in the video, I want you to tell me I scribble and I babble when I get hot, I splattle. And you got to say it all correctly and spell it right. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, hit that like. I'm not just saying that to say it. Hit the like, especially you who doesn't hit that like. I'm watching you, Ryan. I know you don't hit that like button. You're like, oh, yeah, I the contest and I won. I still didn't hit that like button after that joint off. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. The next video, we're going to be doing uh, probably Double Masters VIP. And then following that, we're going to go back to Double Feature. And we're going to crack open them big guts. We're going to hit them huge runs. And then we're going to go to the potty. And it's going to end. Yeah.